paint pouring these ornaments is really so much fun. Especially when I have this little jig. Maybe I'm crazy. All right, I'm just going to set that one there. But I do take, I do take the, um, the caps off. I don't want to get paint on my caps. And when I take them off, I just stick them back in the container. I'm going to glove up because I'm messy. This is Dollar Tree paint in deep blue. I have mixed one part paint to one part flow troll because the pigment in this is just uh it's you know not as strong this is the liquitex basics in bright aqua green and this is one part paint to four parts flow troll art smith turquoise blue one part paint four parts flow troll amsterdam titanium white one part paint, four parts flow troll. No silicone in any of these. And Art Mines Metallic Copper. It's not gold, it's copper. Let's shake this up. I've mixed up just some base white Sherwin Williams. It's a just a latex semi gloss wall and trim paint. That I'm pretty sure was given to me, but it, I mean, it's white. I use it in my acrylic pouring. This is just, these are just ornaments. It's not fine art, guys. Um, so this is just going to be like my little way that I'm going to prime these so that the rest of the paint really flows nicely on the, it's kind of like you're, you're priming it. And I am using a good bit because I have a crap ton of it. I don't care, really. I'm not concerned. It's not that I don't care. I'm just not concerned about wasting um, this particular paint, if that makes sense. I'm just going to take each one and kind of rub it all over. This really does help. I love the smell of paint. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy. All right, I'm just going to set that one there. Um, I'm going to take this glove off because honestly, I don't like wearing gloves anyway. And I'm just going to be messing around. So, oh my God, this one's plugged up. One's plugged up too. Lots of squigglies. All right, I'm blowing, but not a whole lot. Out of breath. 
think my hair just went in there. I'm gonna let those drip. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna encourage on the back on the back. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna start with the bright aqua green on these. And end with the blue. I forgot the gold. That's a lot of blue. I just add a squirt of gold and then the white. Should I let it go? I really like this blue. I want to see if I could, um, I don't know, I'm just going to sort of thinking out loud on, I wonder if I could do a swipe with the white. Oh, I don't know if I have a, I use this might stick. It's not really gonna work well. That's really pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's really pretty. I mean, it's not silly. But that's really pretty. That's different. Oh, but look, I'm getting a little bit of cell here. That's really pretty there. I kind of need to fill in. I don't, there's a lot of blank. Thoughts. I'm just going to sort of encourage that on that side. This one's turning out cool too. I'm going to add a little bit there. I kind of have a blank spot. So let's just get some flow going there. Oh my gosh, I love that one. Mm -mm. Not that it really makes a difference. The swipe, but it's just giving me a neat look. And it's different from the others. I really like that one. This one's turning out cool too. I'm gonna leave these. I'm just experimenting with these just because I can do whatever I want. I do not have enough paint on these. I can already tell just looking from the bottom. Flip this over. So see how there's just not a whole lot there. So Let's just add some like that. And then we're just going to let it kind of go. And that'll give us a little bit more coverage. It'll still turn out kind of cool. Okay, well, that's going to be cool. Getting some drips there. Hmm. See, we're just going to let it let it drip. I just I didn't put enough paint on them. Not super upset about it. Oh, man, I put way too much on that. I'm going to add some white. That's just going to give us a little bit more. Look at that cell. Cool.
you know what I, I think what I love so much about paint pouring is that it is so versatile and flexible. There's no right way to do it and there is no wrong way to do it. And you can really come up with some cool, cool looks on these ornaments. This is probably my favorite one though. And I know you hear my stomach growling. Holy cow. I did not know I could do that. Whew. All right, so let's. I'm going to add a whole lot more. I'm swiping on my stick. Oh my God, I'm in love. I'm gonna drip this. That is super cool. Maybe a little. In there. Wow, he was trying to fall off. That is some amazing stuff going on there. I hope that dries this way. I'm using my drips too. It's just fun. Oh my gosh, look, 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 look. Yeah, it's not going to la last. I don't think it's going to be definitely cool, but that's pretty freaking cool right there. Oh my God, these look amazing. All right, it's time to add some mermaid trash. I'll put a link in the description on the video, the quick little video that I did um, where I showed how I made this. So what I'm gonna start with is some Aline's tacky glue, the clear tacky glue I find works really, really well for attaching this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the, the other side of the ornaments where the paint dripped and Form some clear areas where the paint didn't go and then also you know just where we have kind of odd spots like this this is where the mermaid trash is going to go <clears throat> I'm going to start actually I'm going to start with this one because there seems to be a lot more void areas on this one Oops, there we go and I'm just going to put the glue Kind of ran sort of randomly in those areas I'm 
there is going to be some to fall off 100 percent that's okay it, it's adding to my my drippiness too so i do not get upset <laughs> See, this one is already dripping so much. It's so pretty. But... So in a way, it's almost like the glue is mimicking what the paint does when we did the paint pour on that first side. The glue is going to follow that same path, just, you know, different, it's thicker, but it is going to follow that same path and create some really, really cool effects. This is the one I just did a few minutes ago and look how the glue is already dripping down. And some of them will take a little bit longer just depending on how much is on the ornament already. But so much fun. Let's see what we end up with. Yeah, let's put this one here. And then we're gonna wait and let it dry and then come back and see what we have pour this back in the jar and once everything was good and dry after a couple of hours i just mixed up some ks resin liquidy split and put a nice liberal coat on each one of these ornaments and also put a little bit on top of the mermaid trash just to secure everything good and tight then i just put the little silver caps back on each one of the ornaments and took some raffia uh, ribbon that, um, that I have and I just cut some pieces to use as the hangers. That way I have a way to display them at my art shows. I had so much fun making this batch of ornaments. I haven't done paint pouring on clear ornaments in quite a while. So this was a neat, fun experiment. Got to try a couple of different techniques and I always love using the mermaid trash with the drippy glue because I never know what kind of pattern I'm gonna get. So. Definitely, definitely stoked about these. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new and decide to give this a try. Thanks again. Bye, guys.